Hey guys, it's me, Cyrus. Welcome back. I'm going to start doing a regular thing on this channel where I just ask a question. I, I'm not the guy that has all the answers to everything. And I'm not the guy that has all the questions either, but I do have a few from time to time. And I am curious about your thoughts and your take on certain issues. So let's talk about this. There is a lot of conjecture and a lot of speculation going on right now about the possibility of a PlayStation 5 Pro coming out. Now, this has been a rumor for a long time. Pretty much, I mean, this is what we do now. This has been going on forever. Anytime, the first, like, mid-life refresh of a console that happened, this then became the rumor for every console that was going to come after. Before the Nintendo Switch even came out, they were calling... There, were, there was rumors that people were spreading that there was a Nintendo Switch Pro coming. The PS4 Pro comes out. Immediately, there's rumors there's another PS4 Pro that's even better coming out. The Xbox uh, One X comes out. Okay, now there's another, there's another Xbox about to come out. The, the Xbox Series consoles come out. There's rumors there's another series coming out. Other than the Series S and X, there's a... I don't remember what they call it, a Series C or something like that. And the PS5 hadn't even come out, and there's rumors of a PS5 Pro. This has been a rumor since before the thing came out. So, I'm curious to know if you think this is really about to happen, or if this is even possible, or if it's likely. Like, what do you think? Do you think this is going to happen? I don't have the answers to that. I can tell you... From my understanding of the reason that there was a PS4 Pro, just from what was told to us by Sony, the PS4 Pro existed because they needed more power for PlayStation VR. Now, is that the case? Does the PS5 need more power for PS VR 2? Is that what the issue is? Because that was the reason they gave. The PlayStation 4 was already notably better than the xbox one the xbox one back in those days struggled i mean struggled to get games to run higher than 720p it was a problem so they released an enhanced console to compensate for that and the xbox one x was a necessary upgrade i felt if they wanted to save their brand and it was a really good console their reasoning for upgrading was because they had a vastly underperforming console on the market that needed to be replaced. Whereas Sony's reasoning was, like I said, to give the system more power to support PlayStation VR. And they took advantage of that power and implemented enhancements for games as well. But that was the primary reason that they gave. Now my thing with the PlayStation 5 is, if you do think there's a PS5 coming, a PS5 Pro coming, excuse me. My my question is why? Why why would they do that? What is the reasoning? Why would there be a PS5 Pro? Is it because of PSVR2? Is that it? Cuz if 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 the reason that you're bringing out a PS5 Pro is just to have more power a more powerful console? The PS5 is pretty dang powerful. It can do, I mean, amazing graphics, great frame rates, 60 frames per second on most things, 120 on some things. It can do 4K. It can do ray tracing. It can do a whole bunch of stuff that people haven't even begun to really take full advantage of yet. And we're gonna do a pro console? I don't understand. What would be the necessity in doing that? There's obviously going to be a benefit to Sony releasing revisions on the PlayStation 5. I actually own the third revision of the PlayStation 5 that's already been released. It's cheaper to make, lighter. It's supposed to be a little bit better made, supposedly. That kind of revision Sony's always done. Because that's what you do as a company. You constantly figure out ways to improve your product, make more money off of it, this sort of thing. But a PS5 Pro to have more what? 
to do a little bit better graphics, to do a little bit better frame rate? Where's the necessity? Where's the reason for that? Are they afraid that they're looking inferior to the Xbox Series X? Because I don't think that's been the case. So I'm just curious if you have a different take on this. Help me understand, why would Sony do that? Why would there be a PS5 Pro coming soon? And that's not to say that it's not happening. I'm not saying it's not happening. I'm saying if it is happening, I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. So help me understand. Do you think this is coming and why? And that's my question. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your, your reasoning behind your thoughts. If you have evidence to support that, let me know what you think. I would greatly appreciate it because this is a question that I can't answer. I don't know. And I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.